So let's start with a uh, definition here. Um, this is what good old Google says statistics are. And I think this is pretty interesting. Um, it says, it is the practice or science of collecting and analyzing numerical data in large quantities, which personally, I'm not sure you always need large quantities, but I, I might be quibbling a little bit, but um, especially for the purpose of inferring proportions in a whole from those in a representative sample. So this, this latter part may kind of make you stop and pause, and I hope it does because that is the gist of what statistics are for. They allow you to talk about bigger things from a smaller sample as long as that sample is representative of the data. So to start, you guys can go old school and use a notebook with this beautiful color coding. Um, totally fine. You can use your iPhone. You can use GPS or various different technology to collect data. But once you have the data, you're going to want to get into some sort of spreadsheet program. And um, with spreadsheets, keep in mind that, yes, Excel is great. It's been used for longer than Google Sheets, but Google Sheets is really nice because you can collaborate real time. They both have almost equivalent functions. Um, so, you know, it's fine. Uh, if you love Excel, everything I'm going to cover tonight uh, is stuff you can easily do in Excel. Um, so either way, you're, you're fine on that front. Um, but once you get into a spreadsheet, you're going to want to analyze the data. And really the basic stats that all of you I'm sure are, even if it's been 20 or 30 years as some of you wrote since you had a stats class, um, which is great, um, but you know average or mean and you know a little bit about median. I will cover when to use median, when to use the mean, because um, that often comes up as a question. And then the range, which is just the minimum value in a data set to the maximum value, super simple. Those are just some basic statistics. Of course, there's many more complicated ones that we could get into. So let's go back to this um, for the purpose of inferring proportions in a whole from those in a representative sample. Um, and let's see if I can draw on this. Um, so if you were out here, many of our students, when they go to Baja, um, they have a question in this area. We do an inquiry and they look at uh, whether cacti that grow on this ridge and on the slope are taller or shorter than cacti that live down in this flat basin area. It just seems to be an inquiry that a lot of people are curious about. Of course, you can't really go into this area and count every single cacti in that landscape. It's the scale of this picture may be hard for you guys to see exactly, but um, it's, it's it would take days and days and days in that 120 degree heat I was telling you about. Um, so uh, most people, what you're gonna try and do is just sample in certain areas. You're gonna have quadrats, which are spatially replicated units where you're gonna sample, some down low in the basin, some up high, okay? And you're gonna hopefully randomly distribute these so that you don't just choose, oh look, there's there's a great cacti, I'm gonna do that one. That would be biasing your data. So you're gonna get some sort of measure, it could be transects, which are just linear sampling units, right? And you would have to decide with your, your group, your colleagues, what makes sense in terms of um, the, the size of the transect, the size of the spatial unit where you're sampling, all of that, okay? So those are decisions the experimenter makes. There's no perfect example uh, or perfect solution for that. It really depends on the size of the organism you're looking at, how much time you have and so forth. But you're going to again, try and infer about the whole from your samples, okay? Now you could also be, and I wanted to give these examples that Karen had asked for, number of bird collisions on different window types. So, you guys are well aware that there are, um, it's a big problem with migratory birds in particular, that they will crash into uh, windows thinking they can fly through and they, they will die So um, in many cases. So um, there's efforts to build in new window, windows uh, that are less likely to have collisions from birds or different street lighting kind of things you can do as a city. 
And we actually had a student in Baltimore that looked at citizen science data of Lights Out Baltimore, a group that was looking at um, bird collisions in the city. And she was able to analyze that data and come to some conclusions, but she could not monitor all the windows. So she had a sample of the areas in Baltimore that citizen science were recording data. And she also recorded some of her own data. Another example, we had a student who looked at the effect of rodenticides on rodent populations. Um, so you might think that's clear cut. Rodenticides are gonna decrease rodent populations. But actually rodenticides in many urban areas, they, the, those rodents get sick and they get preferentially consumed sometimes by different raptor species. And it can decrease the raptor population in the area. So it's not a clear cut relationship necessarily. Again, another student worked on this and ended up getting a publication about it um, later in her time in the program. So whatever you're recording, you're gonna go out, uh, come up with your, your experimental design, your quadrats, your sampling units, or maybe you're doing social research with surveys and things, and that's kind of an area I might be slightly biased against tonight, um, but I'll try and do my best at some point to really get into uh, social survey data. Um, but in any case, you're gonna record your original data measurements, and this can be monotonous work. As you do it, you're gonna come up with new questions it's often really makes sense to do a pilot study um, and to look at the data beforehand and the, and the data measurements so you can sort of tweak your methods to make sure that it makes sense. Um, you don't want to collect half your data and then realize, you know what, that, that methodology didn't make sense. 